The Toyota Supra is finally coming in a manual. That's right, this is huge news, and no, this isn't clickbait. So when can we expect to see the new manual Supra? What transmission will it be, and will it cost any more? That's what this video is all about, so let's just jump right into it. Now it's safe to say that the Supra's sales wasn't the best, and the Supra isn't a bad car, and it's not outrageously overpriced. However, as we all know, it was entirely based off the BMW Z4. Four, which led to many fans being disappointed. The Supra lost its best selling point, being a Toyota. Throw in the fact that it was only offered with an automatic transmission, and you have a car that just didn't cater to the majority of Supra enthusiasts. Think about it, if you wanted a Euro car, you would go and buy a Euro car not a Supra. But with a manual transmission on its way, things might start to look up for the car. Sure, it should have been offered with a manual from launch, but the fact that we're even getting one is really awesome news. Now I know some people in the comments will be like, well, how do you know that this is even happening? While there are a few reports that have come out of Japan that say this, nothing has been officially said from Toyota. However, I have great news. As someone who actually works for Toyota, we are already taking deposits for the new manual Supra. We're expecting to see it around mid next year. So with that out the way, what transmission is it going to be? Well, the base model four cylinder BMW Z4 is actually offered with a six speed manual transmission. However, this is paired up to an engine that's only making 197 horsepower, which is 50 horsepower less than the four cylinder Supra and nearly half as much as the six cylinder Supra. So whether or not this transmission can even handle that much power or if it can even be matched up to the six cylinder engine is really up in the air, potentially we could get the manual transmission that we see on the current BMW M3 or M4, however, we will have to wait and see. Price wise, I think we can expect the Supra to maybe be a little more expensive as the car wasn't originally released with a manual transmission, but I think the best move by Toyota would be just to release the new manual Supra at the same price point, however, yet again, we are going to have to wait for confirmation. So does the manual transmission save the Supra? Would you now consider getting one, or do you think that the Supra's reputation has still been tarnished? Let me know down below as I would genuinely be interested to hear what you guys think. Check out these videos right here for more car news and hit that subscribe button to stay updated on everything automotive. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.